Well, today on Nation Window Cleaning Podcast, we are going to be talking to two amazing dudes, and uh, you're going to learn some things about Facebook, about uh, Christmas light install. You're just going to learn a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're in window cleaning or thinking about getting into window cleaning, this is going to be an awesome episode. So stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaning.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Hopefully, you love the show, and hopefully, it's better than a cat video. So go back, watch, listen. It's five years of doing this. So there's tons and tons of content to watch and listen to. Uh, it's also available anywhere podcasts are and on YouTube. So check it out either place. And yes, if you haven't yet, get your subscription to AWC magazine uh awcmag.com is the website it's american window cleaner magazine get a subscription because you need something to read when you're on the toilet and it just happens to fill the bill so go there uh get your subscription be absolutely amazing and the last shameless plug of the day is i am a rep for windowcleaner.com that's how i make my cheddar so if you want to put any orders in please let me do that for you uh, my number directs 862-312-2026. That is a cell phone. So call me, text me, and we will go from there. So thank you. Thank you in advance. Whew. Okay. So today, uh, we do have some two uh, cool, awesome dudes that, unfortunately, I beefed up the last one. And we've recorded already weeks ago, but these guys are so stinking busy. I got them on again to record again, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, but uh, why don't you say hi, Ryan, introduce yourself first and uh, tell us who you are. Yeah, what's up, everyone? Uh, so my name is Ryan Johnson. I have a window cleaning business in Phoenix, Arizona, and I also run uh, Facebook ads for about 15 uh, home service companies in the United States. So that's that's my connection with Bobby. I, I work directly with Justin Moncasio on there. And uh, yeah, I run my window cleaning business here and things are good. Nice, nice. And we're also here with the man himself, Mr. Bobby. Bobby, tell us who you are, uh, where you're from, uh, and just give us the deets. Yeah, man. I'm uh, Bobby Williams uh, with Justin Monk SEO. I'm a partner with Justin. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Ryan's uh, selling himself short there. He's uh, He is the rock star Facebook guy. I got to tell you, we've used every single person in the in the industry, outside the industry, anybody that did Facebook ads. They all were, you know, some some worked okay, some didn't work at all. But I got to tell you, when once we signed up with Ryan, man, that phone just started ringing, and uh, we knew that we needed to to lock this guy down. So we flew straight down to Phoenix, met with Ryan, and uh, he said, "Yep, I would love to to partner up with you guys." And man, it's been a been a great relationship since we've uh, we've just he's knocked out of the park. Every single person that he's touched has been absolutely fantastic. Nice. Well, uh, I feel like I should leave and just let you guys just have a, have a moment. But uh, no, if you guys don't know, Facebook ads can really, really suck. I know a lot of you are doing Facebook ads. And um, the big thing that people do with their Facebook ads is they like put an ad out there and they're like, uh, you know, it does all right. Oh, when was the last time you did an ad? And you're like, well, I don't have time to change it. It's like the same ads been running. It's like, well, if you don't have the split testing thing and you don't have the knowledge, then you're not going to get great results. And that's what you do, Ryan. That's like literally what you do is you track these people. When somebody has you do their kind of management, they don't understand how much behind the scenes stuff. They think it's like, why would I pay somebody to just put an ad out there? I can put an ad out there, but they don't realize how much tracking and checking how much you're paying per view and click and interactions and all that other stuff that goes with it. That if you're not active, you're just like hoping that it works, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and it's also years and literally hundreds of thousands of dollars spent, you know, working through Facebook. So yeah, it's a I lot more Facebook. than just than just starting an ad and letting it run. You know. Yeah, I heard Facebook actually sends you a Christmas card every year, just saying thank you. You put their kids through college. It's really nice of you oh. to spend so much money with them. <laughs> uh, no, but if anybody doesn't know, also in your own company. Uh, you have an awesome company and one of the big things that you do is holiday lighting this time of year. Uh, kind of give us a rundown of what you do for holiday lights and kind of go a little bit into that. Yeah. So Christmas lights is definitely my favorite, uh, favorite thing that we do. I, I enjoy it a lot. It's very unique in that we're just like selling joy to people. Like it just makes people happy to 
to do Christmas lights and the profit margins are insane on Christmas lights after the first year. Um, so we're on year two right now. Now year one, we did 110,000 right now we have 140 sold. We're trying to get to 300. Um, so we've got some, some time to do that, but, uh, yeah, just in, in short, it's just commercial grade custom fit Christmas lights. You cu cut them to fit the house and, uh, we lease the lights. We do everything for the customer install, maintain, take down and store. So our customers just enjoy lights for the season. And it's a, uh, it's very, very unique service in that, like there's people who wouldn't pay for any of your other services that are going to pay for Christmas lights. Cause they'll like, they'll like empty their wallets to get Christmas lights. Cause it makes their kids happy. It makes them happy. So it's like, it's just very unique. And then you also have your, you, you will have a lot of your normal customers that have disposable income that will, do it and like yesterday i quoted this house that was like eight thousand square feet and sold a four thousand dollar job on it and it's just a roof line so it's like crazy though people just open their wallets and just really have a lot of joy when it comes to christmas and, and lights on their house that's nuts if people don't know about christmas lights too you don't have to share the numbers if you don't want but could you do just christmas lights and like go sit on a beach the rest of the year yeah definitely i'm i know um I know guys who do over a million dollars a year just in lights and they, they work for four or five months because there's a lot of prep and, and uh, organization afterwards. But I have multiple close friends that, that do that and that's all they do. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's, I love that. It's a thing that you don't think about, you know, like you don't even realize that it could be like a giant industry and yet it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's, it, and I'll tell you, Josh, we've, we've had multiple clients that, uh, that are, that were pressure washers, window cleaners, and then it completely gone Christmas lights only and just worked for, through the winter. And then, uh, yeah, call it quits for the summer. So it's nuts. Like Ryan said, you don't think about that side. Well, he does cause he does it, but like somebody who's not into Christmas lights, you're just selling happiness. Like the only option is people are like super stoked that they are putting up lights. Their kids are happy. They're like, you told me a story one time about uh, some like little old lady that had you just do a, a simple roof line, won a won the contest for best lights in the neighborhood. Like you're just providing mm -hmm. people with like super happiness. There's like nobody's like, oh man, I gotta do lights this year. All right, let's do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge pain point. Like every day you, I meet people who like I'll meet the husband and he's like, Yeah, my wife just won't let me get on the roof anymore. Like yeah. that happens every day. So it's just like it's a huge problem that you're solving for people um and there's the demand is crazy it is though like once you grow like we're only in year two and, and we've grown pretty quickly you're gonna do try to do 300k this year but it's like hectic for for a few months especially yeah. november it's just nuts but get through it and it's uh it's pretty it's pretty amazing the uh just the profit margins and we'll probably end up like our bank account will be 150k up over two months so that's nuts. That's pretty yeah. crazy. There, there's there's um, something to be said, too, for packing in while you can. So you're in a zone or an area that has more business going on this time of year than in the middle of the summer, say, or spring, where most of the country is in a different side where they're starting to slow down now. So Christmas lights really, really, really fits the bar for people who are just slowing down. They're just kind of, um, they're maybe not out of the, the game as of right now. But being from Wisconsin, I know that by Thanksgiving, things like are gone. Like December, we're already doing our layoffs for seasonal stuff and we're getting into snow and all that other stuff. And Christmas lights just fit that bill because yes, you're busy like August, you know, starting in August is really when you have to start doing this stuff. But, you know, having that main part fill up those months that are really, really slow could be super beneficial. It's one of those kind of do route do commercial and do residential because they each have their own place. Yeah. You have to also talk to multiple people in like markets like mine or like California where they're super busy. Like our busiest month of the year for window cleaning is November. And that's why they don't want to start lights, but you just got to figure it out. And it's so worth it. It's, yeah. Like it's tough. Like we went from six technicians to 10. We have got 10 right now for the season. So it's like, you got to hire quickly and uh, train quickly, but We're squirrels. it's worth it. Yeah. Gotta get it while we can, because it's not gonna yeah, be there. So, so I definitely encourage yeah. people who are because I had the same. That's why I didn't start till last year. We should have started. A, this is our third year in business. We should have started first year, but it was just I was too busy with 
owner operator cleaning windows, but yes, got to figure um, it out. It just gets better every year too. So yeah, B Bobby, you are in a different market now. People don't know you're in Washington, but what's your uh, timeline right now for windows? Things start slowing down. Or oh yeah, yeah, very, very, yeah, very much so. And um, that's that's why I love about Christmas lights, though, is that, I mean, obviously the the best part is it picks up when the windows and the pressure washing slows down. But the best part is is our technicians. It's it's such an easy training process. It's quick. It's easy. People, you know, everybody that we train gets the hang of it. I mean, I I think we've only got maybe. I think we've got one person that did Christmas lights last year. And, you know, I mean, we've got, you know, obviously the right now everybody's having trouble hiring us included. Yeah. Um, but the, the guys pick it up quick, you know, we train them on our building and then we train them on our houses and we turn them loose. And it's just, uh, man, I gotta tell you that the Christmas lights, I, same thing with Ryan. I wish we would have started sooner. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm mad that we weren't, weren't doing this, uh, you know, five, six years ago. Yeah, it's so well, much get... easier to train. Oh, sorry. I was no, go ahead. Going on, Bobby. It's so much easier to train than any like window cleaning. Um, I have four Christmas light techs, and none of them were here with us last year, or at least none of them were doing Christmas lights. Two of them were like doing window cleaning, but I was in the field with them three days for training, and they were ready to go. So That's we have two crews out now every day. Each crew does about three thousand dollars a day, and they've very few hiccups. Like people think that you got to cut wires, put plugs on. Like people think you need to be an electrician to do it, but no, it's super simple, way easier than you think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, the training process is super easy, and there's some awesome training resources out there, like uh, the Clip Up program and We Think Christmas Sites stuff like that. So yeah. So let's get into it. So somebody's watching, they're listening. They've never done Christmas lights. They've never even thought of this. You guys said you wish you did year one, but I want to get into it. I'm not going to miss an opportunity again. Like, how do I get into it? Give me kind of the cliff note version of how I can get into Christmas lights. What do you do to start? What are you focused on? What are you looking for? Well, I'll jump in front of you there, Ryan. And the, the quickest route, honestly, and the you know, shameless plug is, I mean, Facebook is instant gratification. And what I love about the Christmas light ads is it's something pretty. They convert so well because... You know, it's not, you know, I mean, window cleaning, we, we all need our windows cleaned. It's something we don't look forward to. But when people see those lights on the house in an ad, it grabs their attention. Oh, yeah. And man, they, they convert. And the, the price to get a client is so inexpensive. I mean, just, it's, I, I can't, I can't sing the praises of doing, I mean, and Facebook yeah. alone for, for Christmas lights is so huge. Your early yeah, Facebook sales people see those lights and it, all of a sudden it gets them like, you know, excited for the season, excited for the holiday, excited for, you know, it like triggers that for them because we're doing Facebook ads now. Yeah. We've been right. running Facebook ads for lights since the last week of July. Wow. And, wow. and we have not, our leads have been under $10 the whole way and we'll have $5 leads in November, like all day long. What's now your we're spending is it, what were you going to ask? I was going to say, what's your minimum charge just so people know? So you've got $10 uh, customer acquisition cost. What's your minimum? So our minimum is five fifty. A lot of people are higher. We do a lot of $500 or $600 like 30-minute jobs. Yeah. Um, like we do a lot of volume that way. Some people only do like $2,000 minimums. But what we tell every single person is that our prices start at five fifty, and our average customer spends about 1200 bucks. And then we ask them if they want to move forward for an in-person quote. So that's kind of how we weed out the people who are tire kickers. Yeah. Either who want to spend a couple hundred bucks or we used to just tell our minimum and we'd get there and they think it was going to be about our minimum, which, yeah. and they wanted a whole bunch done. So, yeah, yeah. but Jersey, your question on like getting started. Um, so yeah, Facebook sells Christmas lights sell better on Facebook than any, any service I've ever seen. Um, it's pretty much a guarantee that it'll work every time. Um, but were you wanting to kind of know like more logistically starting? Yeah. Like, like give um, me the idea. So we're going to get back to Facebook ad side of things on the training and kind of the acquisition side. But say I have some customers, I've cleaned windows for a while. I have that kind of base and now I want to get into window cleaning or into Christmas lights from window cleaning, do that kind of as an add on a, like, how do I do that? I know I need some stuff, but what, what do you suggest? Cliff notes, quickest way. Here's how I get into it, what I need logistically, and what does it look like? 
Yeah. So it's not too late right now, although you're, you're going to pay higher prices for material right now, but you can still do it and, and be very profitable. Um, cool thing is like next year you can do, do your pre-orders in February and save a lot of money if yeah. you can, uh, if you have the cash up front. Um, but you just have to find a, a wholesaler supplier. There's a whole bunch of them um, throughout the country. And then you need like the bulk light line that you screw the bulbs into. You need bulbs, you need clips for hanging the lights and you need plugs for um, creating the power. And then you need uh, just like extension wire and then you share everything else really you need. Like they're small tools, but ladders and stuff like that. But those, those things are timers as well. So timers, plugs, wire, bulbs like and all of that you can get with any supplier that there is out there nice now this time of year i know we kind of talked about it, is it too late for me to get into it supply wise can i still get my hands on the supplies yeah there there should be plenty like i said you're going to pay a little bit more right now because yeah. how most of the suppliers work is they do pre-orders february march you get a pretty good deal and then slowly throughout the season they'll start raising prices so my recommendation for anybody getting started would be like spend whatever you can to get supplies because it's going to be cheaper now than it will be in a month. Yeah. And then by the end of November, most places are going to be sold out. Um, and we install through like December 12th, 14th, somewhere in there, um, just kind of depending on demand. Usually you'll have demand up until about the end of the second week of December. Nice. Okay. So I got the supplies. I have some of the customer base, but what I'm really personally interested in is in the Facebook ad side of it because cost of acquisition is so low compared to your minimum ticket. That side of it just seems like a really, really... Okay, let's talk Facebook ads. It's a no-brainer to kind of do that side of it, but can A, can I start doing Facebook ads now? What does the turnaround time... If I call you today, when can my ads start running? How quickly does that get turned around? Uh, typically within a day. Uh, so how it works is we just have like an onboarding call to kind of help me understand the business a little bit more and them understand me a little bit more. A lot of times people, like I get on the phone with people and they don't know even that I have a service company. So I like that, that I'm able to like level with them there and help them like typically with uh, some questions even on the service side. Um, but anyways, yeah, within a day I can get ads up and running and, and leads will be coming in almost instantly once we start running them. Wow. So if I do that, I get in, you can create the ads. I don't have to come with you with pictures. Do I have to come with you with anything? Because I've never done Christmas lights. I want to do the Facebook ads to get me those customers. How do I do that if I don't have like pictures and stuff? Is that even possible? Yeah, it's possible. So I have a bunch of pictures, uh, although my pictures only work in certain areas because our house is like <laughs> there's a palm like, tree in the background and i'm in wisconsin and people are yeah like, oh. so like i can run ads in california or texas with my pictures and they'd be fine but we can find pictures too um i'm a member of the of clippa and they have a bunch of stock photos that are available to to all the members and stuff like that so nice. that's not a problem and then usually once you've done a few jobs you just go snap a picture and it looks a little more legit like a house in your area and then we run with that so yeah i have a, a client in california who this is his first year doing lights and they're doing awesome they've uh they've sold a ton already and uh i just ran with one of my pictures and then like three days ago he sent me his first install so i just swapped out the photo nice. Yeah. So if I do want to do a Facebook ad, how many ads do you think I should be running at one time? Because people don't maybe not realize either in Facebook ads, you don't always have to run just one ad like, oh, hope it does good. Like, what do you think on that side of it? Yeah, it depends on ad spend. So we always tell people uh, when we onboard them that you need to spend at least seven fifty a month. That's uh, that's like our minimum spend $25 a day. The reason for that is any less than that doesn't really give Facebook enough like data to optimize your ads. Yeah. So if we're spending that, I'm probably just using it on one ad. But if we're spending like over a thousand, I'll split it up over two ads. Nice. I myself, um, throughout the season, I'll have two Christmas light ads running and two window cleaning ads. But I'm spending in November, I'll probably spend 10 grand on Facebook. But we'll do 200 grand in revenue in November. Yeah. So, so, so numbers... Yeah. I, I always say this, I beat it like a dead horse, but if you, you never ever spend money on advertising, you invest money in advertising because I could take $750 and at your minimum, I need like a job and a half 
to pay for that? Is there even a possible way that I wouldn't get a, a job and a half off of that? Obviously, you're not guaranteeing results, but like these things sell so well that could you even see that being a possible? I mean, the 750 Unless, is going to bring you in. The only way it would be is if you just like don't know how to talk to customers and you don't have any sales skills. Sell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, man, that's absolutely nuts. Bobby, if I want to get in and I want to get um, some Facebook ads, Walk me through the process of how easy it is to call Monk SEO. How do I get into that side of it? How do I start it on your end? Well, that's that's the beauty of uh, our company. So um, you pick up the phone, call, give us a call, 509-808-0787. Um, that's Justin's direct line, uh, his cell phone. He answers it every time. And uh, he'll kind of walk you through what, what our process is to, to onboard. And then he sets you up a call with Ryan directly um, or, you know, even even better if you want if you're looking um, strictly for Facebook, nothing else, no you know SEO or website, anything like that. You would just uh, you can call Ryan directly as well, and um, then there's a, a simple little onboarding uh, form that you fill out, and Ryan asks you most of the questions on the phone anyway, so it's kind of redundant, but it's good for us. Yeah. And uh, then yeah, it's I mean you just give a card over the phone, and uh, I mean really it's a it's a simple process. Yeah. So if I'm going to do Facebook ads, by the way, I'm jumping kind of more on the Facebook side of things, but I can do Christmas lights, but I could also do, say, for window cleaning. Now's the time. I could also do for gutter cleaning. Do you do Facebook ads for more things than just uh, uh, Christmas lights? Everything. Yeah. yeah. And that's, oh. that's the, I'm oh, sorry, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. No, you're fine. Coming back to what Ryan said, you know, him being in the service industry, that's, that's the beauty about um about us as well is that we have a window cleaning pressure washing company um we run out of the same building that we run the marketing side and so we you know understanding the industry you know a lot of times you just get a, a random marketing agency that works with with everybody and i mean and don't get me wrong we do work with other companies but our you know our forte is the service industry because that's what we do on the daily yeah yeah that's that's Again, everybody who listens, I, I do talk about Monk SEO in general. It's my absolute favorite company I've ever dealt with in, in anything business related. But uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop where I could talk to you. I could talk to Monk. I could be like, hey, this is what I want to do. And just like the entire thing is set up and it's like, okay, here you go. Here's the package. We, we made a package for you. And you don't have to pick and choose stuff off. I don't have to do the legwork. I literally can flip a switch with you guys and have everything done. Like you said, answering a couple questions, just so you know who I am and what my company's about, but it's just up and running. Well, and the, the, the good side of it too, of, of being in the industry, our designers, I mean, our designers didn't come from the window cleaning and pressure washing industry, but they've been with us long enough. Um, you know, we've got, we've got employees that we've had for uh, seven, eight years now. Wow. And um, they they understand, you know, you, you you hire a website company that's not in the industry. And, you know, one of my favorites was a, a guy that hired a company and he was a pressure washer. And it's got a picture of somebody using a wand on on concrete, you know, yeah. instead of using a surface cleaner, you know, little things like that. It's, you know, our, our employees understand what what the business is and what what you know what pictures should be there and yeah. what what content should be you know and understand the, the industry terms and things like that it just it makes it for a really smooth process i love when somebody's like hey check out my site and they send me a picture you know i look at the the, the main picture is somebody with like yellow gloves and like a shower squeegee and i'm like <laughs> oh did you just type like squeegeeing glass and go anyway on a side note if your website needs help uh definitely uh, get that looking into but Okay, so we got we got how I started. I got some Christmas lights. I've talked to some of the wholesalers. Who do you recommend for a wholesaler? Is there a company that I could reach out to, you think, like that you could put it out there? Obviously, you have to get an account with these guys, but who do you like? So there's a lot of them. Um, we use a couple, and the reason why we use them is they're close to us and their prices are good. So um, we use Holiday Lighting Outlet. They're out of Idaho. And then we also use Lights at Wholesale out of Utah. So what I like about both of them is they have between the two of them, I'm pretty much able to get whatever I need. And uh, being in Arizona, I, I have the stuff at, at my shop in like two days, typically. So there's a whole lot of them. Um, we've used the, the actual, we bought from Clippa itself before. Um, there's a ton of them. Yeah. Now, one other kind of nitty gritty that I want to talk about is you lease lights. So tell me what that means for you and the benefits as an installer and the benefits to the customer. Like how do I 
how do I lease lights? Why don't I want to sell my lights to the customer? Yeah. So a couple of things, like I mentioned, we store the lights, which is a lot of our customers really like that. They don't, they don't have to do anything. They just enjoy the lights. Um, and for us, the big benefit is like, we have probably 10 customers from last year that have told us that they're not going to repeat. And so we're just going to use, we'll just use their lights on someone else's house. Um, five years from now, we're going to have probably three or $400,000 worth of inventory at our shop, um, just ready to go whenever. So like, that's a huge valuable asset. We probably have about, a, I don't know, 60, $70,000 worth of lights right now. Wow. Um, and that's just going to grow over time. And these lights are, they're going to last a while. They're commercial grade. I know guys that replace, just replace whole systems every few years. And I know guys that run with them until they stop working. They'll use the same lights for 10 years. So there's wow. a couple ways to do that, but, um, you're running led bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, led. So I've, I've never even touched an incandescent bulb, but it's like, mm -hmm. Over time, it, it grows so much. I don't I don't understand why people sell lights to their customers. Um, I hate it that people do it because I run into customers all the time and they're expecting like high upfront price and then super cheap price in, pre in following years. And that's just not what we do. But I usually explain to the customer that like if we're selling lights, it, it becomes pretty awkward of who's responsible if the lights have issues and mm -hmm. we lease the lights to you and we make sure everything always works 100% of the time. Yeah. Um, it means your bulbs problems, are always gonna... nice. Yeah, your wires are nice. If a squirrel bites a thing, you're going to fix it. You're just, don't worry about anything. We take care of everything uh, lights. Right. Yep. Nice. And I don't, I don't know about you, Ryan, but I've had a lot more folks calling this year about permanent Christmas lights. I, I, we've had a big jump in those. Yeah, yeah, we we've uh, lost a couple customers to them. My plan is to learn, like, get trained on it in the spring and be ready for that next year. Cool thing about permanent lights is it's something you, that'll there'll be a huge demand for during Christmas season, but there's also going to be a, a need throughout the year because change the bulbs. I don't it's know. Easter. Change the bulbs. It's Fourth of July kind of thing. Yeah, so they're like a, they're smaller bulbs that are permanent to the house, and you can like a control with your phone and stuff. So they're pretty cool. They're, I mean, they're really expensive instead of seven, $8 a foot, you're charging 30, $40 a foot. Uh, and it's a one-time transaction, but, uh, yeah, I'm, you, we've yeah. lost some customers to it and we have people keep asking us about it. So we're, I'm going to learn about it in the spring. We just had a, we just had a new construction that, uh, they wanted, they wanted it in time for Halloween. They wanted to be able to light, light up their house in orange. So that's cool. You get, you get to kind of, uh, do this stuff and then, uh, Pull more money out of it, really, you know, by being able to service them all year in a seasonal thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I like it. So, so you well, talked about a minimum. Is... You've talked about now these fancy lights, but what are you charging? Uh, again, you can give me ballparks if you don't want to give me figures, but what are you charging per foot? How do I charge somebody for this? So, we're usually, depending on difficulty, it will be six to seven dollars a foot for one story and seven to eight dollars a foot for two story. So we'll just measure it out and then calculate from there. Um, nice. That's pretty industry standard on, on the higher end, I'd say. But there are people who charge 10 to $12 a foot. Um, there's people in my market that, that charge super high and try to close 10%. Wow. For us, we're, we're trying to close about 40%. Um, yeah. That's kind of my, my uh, sweet spot. And that's people who already understand our minimum, understand our average ticket. We try to close about 40% of them. So. And now in Christmas lights, I can do roof lines, I can wrap trees, I can wrap bushes, I can do netting, and I can even do wreaths. What do I want to do? Just roof lines? Is that where your bread and butter is? Or do you want to do it all? We do it all. Um, like Stuff like greenery isn't super popular here in Arizona, although I know it is. <laughs> so, so we do wreaths why. here and there. Yeah, we do wreaths here and there, but we do a ton of trees, bushes, um, but that probably only makes up 10 or 15 percent of our revenue but it is a, a solid chunk of of change that we yeah. get from those but roof lines are always going to be the the main deal yeah nice well so you guys listening know that i am not the guy to ask about uh christmas lights i have done partial installs but i have not done it like as a business so who if i'm interested right now who do i call how do i get into this how can I get more information on the Facebook side of things? How do I get these customers coming in? Tell me what I can do right now, who I call. So market for marketing, like we're super happy to help. Um, as far as like actually just learning the trade, there's like, I'd go join the CLIPA Facebook group. What CLIPA stands for is Christmas Light Installation Pros Association. 
Um, I go join that. There's like, you can go and search almost any question and probably find it there on that uh, page. And, uh, yeah, that's where I'd start. That's where I did start, um, nice. last year. And then yeah, we went and got a quick training, which was cool, but I think it's too late in the season probably now to get any kind of training this year. But Nice. Well, cool. Well, Bobby, do you have anything to say in a parting words? How do we get a hold of you? Uh, how do we get things started? Say we want to do the SEO. Say we want to do some Facebook stuff with you guys. What do we do? Um, just you can give me a shout direct. Um, you can call Justin or you can give me a shout. My cell phone number is 509-280-6166. And yeah, man, I'd love to just chat, even if it's, uh, you know, just helping you get off the ground. Um, always open for a phone call. And, and you're you're handsome. Look at this picture he's got up on the screen. Oh, if you're not man. on YouTube, you get to see what he looks like. He's here. All professional. It's great. It's great. I love it. Well, cool. I appreciate it. You guys for watching. Uh, I am super, super interested in Christmas lights. It's such a good profit, but I'm more interested in the Facebook stuff. You guys know that I talk about all the time, but just being able to do the ads, having somebody take care of it, managing the account is absolutely huge. If you haven't yet or you're thinking about getting into it or say you're doing Christmas lights and you need to get some Facebook ads, I'm telling you, you know, I push these guys all the time, but it's phenomenal. Try it out. Give them a chance. I promise it'll work out amazingly for you. Um, but if you didn't know, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And of course, my shameless plugs are coming. My number is 862-312-2026. I can't do Christmas lights for you, but I can put in orders. Uh, so let me know on that. Uh, make sure to get you guys hand on the uh, American Window Cleaner magazine, of course, awcmh.com. Uh, check out all the other things that we do for uh, social media stuff. And uh, until next week, go out there and not only get yourself some amazing Facebook ads and some customers, get into Christmas lights. Tell me how it works for you this year. But more importantly, go out there and be epic. <laughs>